Hey guys, good morning. We are leaving Las Vegas to head down to Oatman, Quartzsite, and then Phoenix. Our RV will hopefully be ready within the next few weeks. And we're picking that up in Mesa, Arizona, but we decided not to spend the next couple weeks in Washington, instead to enjoy this beautiful Las Vegas weather. I'm telling you, there is not a better time to come down here, but in the middle of December, it is amazing here. I understand why there are so many people here on Christmas. It's packed, it is packed, oh man, anywho, we're gonna hit the road. We'll see if we can't pet some donkeys and uh, check out Quartzsite, which I really wish we were at right now because, oh man, that's the place to be. And if you haven't been and you're full-timing in an RV, you owe it to yourself. All right, let's hit the road. Ahead and we're gonna check this place out. The road here was a little crazy. A little crazy. Google, but, Maps, Google Maps did not warn us about that. And I've already pissed off a donkey, I think. Uh, or he really liked my shoes. Crocs. So, let's see if we can find one that's friendly enough to pet. Oh, that's not ideal. <laughs> I see too many purple ones. Whoa. Got the beers in here. Uh, he didn't make it. And that is an interesting uh, mind museum. I don't know what I was expecting. Gold in these hills.
Guys, if you're ever in the Oatman, Arizona area, please visit. It's wonderful. There are some nice donkeys. There are some less than nice donkeys, I think. I'm still not sure if I was attacked. This little town is really pretty. And apparently at one time had up to 8,000 people living here, which may only surprise you if you actually see the town. It was a really big mining town in the 1910s and the 1920s. The donkeys actually helped, the call them burrows, but the donkeys actually helped a lot in the mining here. And that's what made it so successful, which I think is really interesting. And fun fact, donkeys can smell water from up to 20 miles away. 20 miles. I can smell pizza from five, six houses away. So basically the same thing. Anywho, we're back on the road. We're gonna head to Quartzsite because that's just gonna be on our way to Phoenix and see what there is to see. Let's hit the road. made it in here to Quartzsite, Arizona. I love this place. It's basically like how m there's so many snowbirds that go to Florida. You can also spend your winter here in Arizona where there is a ton of BLM land. Pull up, find a spot, don't crowd anybody else. Find a good place to dump your tanks, find water, get your food and stay here for the season. It's a really awesome little city. There's a lot of little quirks and cool projects and a lot of creative people out here. But uh, if you have never been, definitely visit especially if you like RVs, tiny homes, things like that, because there's a lot to see. It's getting dark. The videos definitely don't do it justice. You'd have to see for yourself. We are hoping to go ahead and come on back after we get our rig and maybe do our solar panel install here. Fingers crossed as long as we have time and then we can get on our bikes and scoot around here. We're heading to the hotel now. We've got about 122 miles left. So we're almost there guys. I believe we're in the south central area of Phoenix and we just checked into our hotel. It's gross. <laughs> it's just, it's just gross. And I believe we've heard gunshots. There's graffiti all around the building uh, and the other tenants here, which I say tenants because they all look like they've been here for a significant period of time. They are characters to say the least. And as we're checking in, <laughs> we the gal even said that they have a big issue with drug abuse. This is not great. The lady at the front desk was very nice, uh, I will say. However, she said that the reason we, we can't come back in one of the doors is because I have to keep it locked because I had a huge drug bust last week. Last week. Mm, let's try our luck somewhere else. Staying at the Three Palms Hotel. They've got 
the pool here, a hot tub, free Wi-Fi, the room is pretty decent, and they're renovating them. Not too bad. Solar panels under there, some under here, and some under here. So everything fits. If you've made it this far, thanks for following along, guys. We are moved into our hotel room. Tomorrow we'll go ahead and return the van. A couple things we want to do before we do that, and then we need to find a way to get from the airport back to the hotel. So we'll figure that out, of course. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.